Hi, I'm Colton with Porsche Center Calgary, and this is one of our 2019 Cayennes. Uh, now, 2019 was a whole redesign for the Cayenne. Every, uh, every panel on the car is new. Uh, it's a new platform, new engine, everything. So a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, and as, as you might expect, it's been super popular. All the changes are really well received. Uh, the largest ones being the new engine, a lot more powerful, more efficient. It's turbocharged now, much larger screen. The whole car is a lot more high tech. And uh, we'll have other videos kind of delving into everything that's new and cool about the car. Uh, but for our purposes right now, I just want to tell you about what is unique about this one in particular. So uh, exterior color starting there. This is the moonlight blue metallic, which is a really dark blue color. Uh, depending on the light outside, if it's an overcast day, many people mistake it for black. Uh, it is very dark, but when it is under direct sunlight, the uh, metallic aspects of the blue come out and it looks a lot more blue. So it, it's an interesting color and it's been a pretty popular one. Uh, there's lighter blues as well. The Biscay blue is the new one. Uh, that's kind of a bright pale blue. You can get that too. Um, Wheels, we upgraded these ones quite a bit. We're finding more and more that big wheels are uh, really in demand. You know, we can go as small as 19 now on the Cayenne. It used to be 18. Now they start at at least 19 and go up as high as 22. This is probably the most popular wheel, and I'd say my personal favorite, the 21 inch RS Spider Wheel. Gives it a lot more uh, impact, I think, certainly in profile than the more uh, standard wheels. Uh, and then when you go this large, you also get the um, wheel arch extensions. So this piece here is body color and just comes out a little bit from the body. Uh, with the smaller wheels, that, uh, that piece there is left unpainted and it's just flush with the body. So that again, uh, gives it just a little bit more presence. It's one of those subtle things you might not be able to put your finger on what's different about that car at, at first glance, um, but it's it's a nice nice subtle touch. Um, in terms of some of the other equipment, uh, I guess sticking with the outside for a minute, uh, the roof rails we added, something you can't retrofit, so we'll put on a lot of our cars, but not all, um, and we did them in black. You have the option to do black or silver. If you do that in silver, your trim kind of surrounding the window here is silver as well. When you do the rails in black, then that'll automatically uh, mean you have the black window surround as well, which we do find is a lot more popular. We'll have a few cars with the silver trim, um, but not as many people seem to like it. The black is definitely more, uh, more sought after. Going on to the inside, that is black as well, our standard black interior. Um, and the seats were uh, were upgraded a little bit as part of the, the Premium Plus package, which I'll delve into. Uh, but the seats are unique because they are the 18-way adaptive seat. So it starts with an 8-way, and then you go up to the 14-way, and, and you gain um, thigh extension and 4-way uh, lumbar. But it's the same shape. Those 8 and 14-way seats are, are shaped the same. The 18-way is a whole different shape. It wraps around you quite a bit more, and those extra four adjustments from the 14 uh, are the adjustable bolster. So the seat base, you can wrap in a little bit tighter. Seat back, too, you can adjust that to hug you a little bit more if that's what you want. And then now, for 2019, uh, in addition to that, there's some other changes to the 18-way seat. Now, the headrest is integrated right into the seat, which it didn't used to be, uh, and it definitely gives it more of a of kind of a sports car seat feel. Uh, I really like these seats. Now, some won't, because they do um, make it a little bit harder to climb in and out of with those higher bolsters, um, but if you're if you're tall enough, it's really not an issue. If you're shorter, it might be. So take a look at something with a 14-way if you're concerned about that. Um, some other aspects of that Premium Plus package are uh, the panoramic sunroof. Pretty well everybody wants that. That's in the package. It has that. It also has the lane change assists, right, the blind spot warning. Uh, another aspect of the seat is the seat ventilation, which is added with that package. They'll have heated seats as standard all the time, but the package adds ventilation, as well as heating for the rear seats, so those passengers are a little bit more comfortable. You also get, with the Premium Plus, the four-zone climate control. So all the cars will have two-zone, independent zones up front, right, with this package, or you can get it as, as standalone, is the four-zone. So that in the back, they can have their own temperatures and kind of choose where they want the air to come from on, on either side in the back seat. You also get uh, the headlight upgrade to our most advanced new headlights, the Matrix LEDs. So now on, on the Cayenne for this year, they're always LED headlights, um, but the Matrix are just kind of a, a step above. So with the regular LEDs for a while now, you've been able to, you know, if somebody's coming the other way, you can leave your high beams on still, and if they're coming, the car sees that and kind of dips them out of the way or turns them off. Uh, with the new Matrix LEDs, they have 84 individual LEDs, and they'll turn off only the specific ones that are affecting that car as it's driving by. So you keep uh, a lot more of your uh, lights on, much better visibility uh, than with, with the previous system. So that's a pretty cool new technology, and again, is part of that package. They're adaptive too, they'll turn and look further down the road and do all that stuff uh, like the previous ones did. 
also in that package now. Uh, you get ambient lighting, which you got before, but it was just kind of a single light. It was, it was nice enough, it made a difference. But this one now you have uh, multiple different colors you can choose from. So you can have orange or green or blue or whatever kind of color inside uh, you want. And I find that can really change and kind of personalize the interior a little bit more uh, than you could do before. Uh, on that note, we did change the trim on this one inside as well. So generally, uh, you just have kind of a, a gloss black trim that goes throughout kind of the middle of the cabin. Uh, that's what's standard. In this one, we did the brushed aluminum trim instead, which is just kind of a nice textured silver kind of piece that, that goes all the way through. And we sell so many black interiors and it's great. It's versatile. Everybody likes black. It holds its value the best and doesn't tend to show the marks, but it can just be a little bit much, a little bit too much black. So I personally like having that little bit of silver, a little bit of an accent uh, that breaks the interior up a little bit. Uh, so that's that's kind of the big things that are, that are important to know about this one. Uh, there's, I'm sure, a ton more that I didn't get to because there's a lot to know about these cars and there's so much that you can customize. But I hope you found that video helpful. Do scroll through, check out our other inventory. We've got a pretty good selection right now. Uh, and uh, if you do find one that you like, please pay us a visit. We'd be happy to take you for a drive. Thanks so much.